If you have a small project to finish, such as this box, a great choice of finish is to use an aerosol. They're a lot cheaper than getting a spray gun and a turbine. You get better looking results than when you use a brush or you wipe on a finish. They're very easy to clean up and aerosols come in a great number of different types of finish. You need to pay close attention to what projects you're going to finish with an aerosol. Above all, they need to be fairly small. An aerosol spray width is only about two inches and you need to overlap each strip of finish by about 25%. So because the aerosol finish is fast evaporating, you can't do too big a surface because you have to make sure that the adjacent strip of finish is still wet when you lay down the one next to it. So this box lid is probably fairly close to about the biggest size that you want to do at any one time. If you're using an aerosol finish, you don't need a purpose-built spray booth. All you need is an area that's got good air circulation. At home, you can use your garage. Here at work, I'm using the loading dock. It's got a large door, which I can open fully or part of the way and let the exhaust fumes out. It's got a side door, which will let the fresh air in. And to blow the overspray away from the project, I have a small box fan. I also have a lazy Susan. That means that I can stand in one position and turn the project round. I don't have to walk around it. And lastly, you want a bright light that you can set at a low angle to rake across the project so you get a really good view of the finish as it's going on. Before you get started, there's a couple of things you should do. First of all, you want to attach a handle to the aerosol. This makes it feel much more like a spray gun and you don't get aerosol finger. Secondly, you want to get a feel for how much finish the aerosol is delivering. That's important because if you apply too much, the finish is going to sag and run. If you apply too little, it's going to leave a coarse finish. So what I like to do is, before I start, is just to do a few practice sprays on a sheet of cardboard. I begin by applying a sealer coat of shellac. Spray the least visible areas, like the interior of this box, first, and cover the most visible areas second. Working in this order, any overspray will hit the less visible areas. Hold the can at approximately 45 degrees to the surface you're applying finish to and spray with the grain at a distance of between 6 and 8 inches. Remember not to swing your arm in an arc, but rather to keep your wrist and your arm stiff and straight. After the shellac has dried, I scuff sand the entire piece with 400 grit sandpaper and begin my final finish, in this case glass lacquer. The process is exactly the same as before, only this time I'm not applying the lacquer to the interior of my box. So, that's the first coat of lacquer on. Once it's dried, you can apply the second coat and so on. The number of coats depends entirely on the level of the build that you're looking for. As you can see, applying an aerosol finish is pretty easy. Now many of your friends may think because you use an aerosol, you're not really a good finisher, but the reverse is true. If you pick the right project, you can get a great finish using an aerosol for not much money and in not much time.